who's here, everybody. It's Santa's favorite elf. Santa's favorite cookie-making elf. Yeah. Elf is here, everybody. That's right. Hi. It's cookie-making season, and who better to show us how to make said cookies than our resident foodie? You love her, I love her, ladies and gentlemen from the Weekly Dish on My Talk 1071, Stephanie Hansen. Hey. Okay. Gotta, no, before you start, uh -oh. the audience knows that we tell them everything. They know all the behind-the-scenes stuff. So when I get a card like this from the producers, it's usually filled with information about the segment. This is how good of a guest you are. There's one sentence on this. That's it. There's, it says really, what? there's nothing. It just says make cookies, basically. <laughs> yeah. That's how good of a guest you are. All right. Well, I grew up and my mom was a master cookie baker. Like they were super thin and delicate, and she would chill the dough and spend hours rolling it out. And after my mom died, like 10 years ago, I had a daughter and I was trying to replicate this experience, and it was terrible. I was terrible at it. So I finally found like a cookie dough that you can roll out that's easy, that doesn't require chilling. I did, I did the radio show this morning. This was in my purse. Yeah, so, literally. I'm not kidding. Yeah, she walks I showed in, him. Yeah. She goes, this is in my purse. I'm like, why is cookie dough in your purse? She goes, because I'm on your TV show later too. So yeah. So it's super easy. There's the recipes online, but it's basically a cup of sugar, two sticks of butter, vanilla, almond, and egg. And then some baking powder and three cups of flour. And don't worry, as Stephanie said, we're gonna put this yeah. on the on our Facebook page a little bit later. Yeah, don't worry about writing that down. But the trick to making cookies is like you gotta roll them out and get them thin enough. Okay. Because I was gonna ask. Yeah. In your research, because you said you failed the first time. Oh my gosh. In all of your years, is that single-handedly? Because like I always joke, there, uh, talk about biscuits. There's a trick you have to have everything cold. What is the single-handed trick with in, cookies? In my mom's version, because there was tons of sour cream in them, it was to keep the dough cold, to roll it out like a quarter inch thin. But when you're doing it with kids, you don't want all that fussy time in the refrigerator. You just want to get going and get them into the oven. Yeah. So this dough, like look at it. It's super just... That, that seems like a really easy, easy dough. Yes. Yeah. And Not it's, fussy. It's all in the dough, and then there's another secret. We're gonna just roll a few out here. I'm not making you do it, Jace, because you have such a nice, pretty suit on. Thank you. Well, you're really nice. I could have gotten you an apron, my no, love. No, I'm good. Yeah, okay. I'm good. Okay. So it's just you can do them like thicker or thinner. If you have little kids with big like paws, you know, you might want them a little bit thicker because they, you know, they break. Yeah. But so and then you just throw them on there and you bake them up, and. I decorated them, and here's, I made one for you, Jace. I made a couple for you. Oh, I don't know if look you can at that, that, a little Jason cookie. Oh. Yeah. oh. Now, you know, oh, thank you, Steph. like, I'm not Martha Stewart. Like, they don't look really all me? fancy. Is that really me? You forgot the little beard. You put it you well, know. I did it from the logo, and to be honest, I did try to put the nose on there, but it looked like a weird mouth, so I took it off. Okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So, this dough is just like, here, go ahead and okay. try one. I'll do it. It's very again, pliable. Oh, it is easy dough. Yeah, and it's just. Well, no, I'm not saying it. It's just. Oh, you're gonna scoop it like just that? Just because yeah. it's easier. But yeah. honestly, like kids can do it. They don't fall apart. They're not cracking. They're not overly like buttery and loose. No, this is it, it because if you have a fussy dough, it just it doesn't make this fun at all. No, then and then your kids are frustrated, and the cookies break when you bake them. These uh, people that do this know, like this maybe doesn't seem like a gigantic hack, but if you bake cookies and you like are going to decorate them, you know this is true. Now here's my other secret tip. Okay. And my Thanksgiving tips, by the way, were hot because I had the hey! best Thanksgiving ever. Yeah. I will tell you, <laughs> I compliment stuff all the time. Y'all watching, you know it. Your stuff, all of your segments online on our page does tremendously well because you do. There's a reason I love you. There's a reason we're friends and there's a reason you're very popular on our show. Your tips are blankety blank really good. I mean, seriously, yeah. I got a lot of pictures of your gravy with the kitchen bouquet, so I really appreciated that. Yeah. But here's one of the tricks with the icing. I don't do like the fancy royal icing that they do at the bakery because I don't think it tastes good. Like I want you to eat my cookie and have it taste good. Yeah. So all it is is powdered sugar, melted butter, and a little bit of milk. Wow. And they are delicious. And so, I know you're like trying to be super healthy, but will you just eat a bite? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I know. So wait, wait re repeat the recipe again. Powdered sugar, okay. and this is online too, but melted butter and a little milk. Oh, here comes Kendall. She likes everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kendall. Everything. 
Here, I'm ready. You can eat, Jason. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. But don't mm. they taste good and like buttery and? Mm -hmm. You know, and you know what it is too. The the icing isn't overly like gaggingly sweet. No, no mm -hmm. this is a very light, right, Kendall? It's this very... is really good. I yeah. know. I love the almond vanilla. No, I'm serious. Mm -hmm. And I love. I do love the texture of the cookie. Yeah. It's, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not too thick. It's just a perfect size. And that icing, you are right. That icing, I think, is your best hack. Mm -hmm. I know, because yeah. it's the buttery flavor in there. So, These are again, addicting. this isn't like a massive, like, I'm teaching you something you don't know, but this dough is life-changing. I made seven dozen cookies last night, and it took me, like, 45 minutes. That's it? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. It goes super fast. What are all those bowls for? Is the this bowls, decoration? This is my table decoration. I take pride in... Bringing, look at these. Look at that. Look at that. You guys, is, my husband. Audience, can we hear it for the decorations here? They're not dunce caps. My husband hates these. He's made me promise that I won't put them on the mantle this like year. Them. And I'm like, no, I'm putting them on the mantle. I, I want decorations. Audience, I think these are pretty. They're fancy. I know. What's wrong with your husband? He is just, he's too much of a minimalist. Yeah. I like, I want to have more decorations at the holidays he kind of edits well he can't edit right now he's injured with his hand so he can't do anything so yeah he is Stephanie Hansen everybody for this well, recipe you head to stephaniesdish.com plus we'll post this on our Facebook page a little bit later when we come back one of Stephanie and I have been friends now for about 11 years oh. probably one of my favorite Stephanie stories ever about Buying something on Craigslist when we return. Back after this. All right. I'll just eat it. Oh, please. I'm having another one. They were good, weren't they? Yeah. And I mean, it's. Welcome back, my dear friends. Welcome back. More with Stephanie Hansen. Now, if you watch Stephanie on our show or from the radio show Years on My Talk, you know one of my favorite attributes of, of Stephanie is brutally honest. Doesn't really care very much. She will just say it how it is. And she told a story this morning. She's been filling in on my, on my radio show. That is so quintessential, Stephanie. And it's about buying something on Craigslist, Ooh. which I'm sure some of you can relate to. It's holiday season. Yeah. I was getting a gift for my husband. And I was corresponding with this man about a Craigslist item. This is a cautionary tale. And, and I was going to meet him in Cottage Grove. We were gonna meet. <laughs> we were gonna meet at the Menards. So I drive Saturday morning to the Menards. As I'm driving, I get a text. Oh, the parking lot's really busy. We're gonna meet across the street at the dialysis place. He took her to a second location. That's it. A... So I was like, oh, okay, all right, fine. And then he was texting me, and I was driving, so I was reading the text and not responding. Like my wife doesn't feel comfortable with PayPal. So can you please bring cash? So now you're walking to meet a strange man with cash in your pocket. At the dialysis place. Yes. He's in a, he's in a, he's in a town and country gold minivan. minivan. Oh. I've and seen I, this before. It's called Silence of the Lambs. Yes. And I'm just like, okay, all right. So I get there. He gets out of the car. He looks real nice. And I realize I don't have enough cash. So I'm like, I have to go to the cash machine. And there's a Wells Fargo across the street. So I'm like, here, just get in. Oh, oh, no. So we, I was feeling weird because I was the weirdo that didn't bring enough cash. A strange man got into your car. So I, he has to like get the item. And it's kind of fragile. So. He's like, do you have anything? I'm like, I have a blanket. So I give him the blanket. He's in the back seat of her car with a blanket. Oh. And I'm like, oh my goodness, you are minutes from being put into a well. Yes. He covers the thing and we drive to the Wells Fargo. Then I go into the Wells Fargo and I'm not a Wells Fargo customer. So I'm like, I just need some cash. How do you do that? He was like, okay, I can Meanwhile, help you. the strange man is in, in the car. car. <laughs> With my item that my husband's really going to like. Oh. So he was very nice. But I get back into the car, and he's like, can I show you this video? Oh. And I'm like, I, what's the video? Oh. 
He goes, well, you just say no. <laughs> he goes, I just want to show you that this thing works. I'm like, well, I believe that it works or you wouldn't sell it to me. He's like, well, well, I went to the trouble to make the video. So let me show you. And I'm like, Ooh, he's going to show me some weird video. <laughs> he turns on the video on the phone and it's legitimately the thing working. I'm like, okay, Phil, that's great. All right. So here's your cash. Can I bring you back to your car? Oh, the whole way he's talking about this thing. Like, I can't even believe he's selling it. He seems so emotionally attached to it. So I get him, I drop him off and he's like, Happy holidays, will you send me a picture of it when you get it set up in your house? So he turned out to be a nice he guy. Was very he nice. He turned out to be a great guy. But I know I did Stephanie, all the things wrong, you guys. There are she did everything I did. wrong. I tried to go to the public place. <laughs> and I tried to use PayPal, but he said his wife didn't trust it. You left a strange man in your car. With a blanket. I just I and duct tape. No, no anyway, no. no. He turned out to be a he was good very guy. Nice That's a good holiday Phil story. Phil from Hastings. That's right. We love you. Good man. Still ahead. Only this one.